Ma'am, see, you have earthworms in your garden. Ma'am, they look cute, but they are very slimy like a slime. Mm. But ma'am, why their body is so soft, not like other animals? Dear, earthworms are found in the garden inside the mud. They help in the growth of the plant. And they are slimy because they do not have bones in the body as other animals have bones. Okay ma'am, so our body is also made up of bones. Yes dear, our body is made up of many bones of different shapes and size. There are 206 bones in our body which together forms the skeletal system. Ma'am, please tell me what is skeletal system? The internal framework of bones of the body is called the skeleton. It performs various functions like it gives support to the body and help to maintain its shape. It protects the internal soft and delicate organs of the body like the brain, lungs and the heart. It also helps us to move. It provides attachment to the muscles and it acts as, as storage for calcium and phosphorus which are essential minerals for our body. The bone marrow present inside the bone produces red blood cells that is the RBCs. Ma'am, please tell me more about our bones. The bones of our body are very hard. They are living tissues. They are made up of minerals like calcium, phosphorus, which make them hard. Bones are strong but light in weight as they are hollow from inside. Long bones contain a soft substance called the bone marrow. The bone marrow produced red blood cells in the body. The bones are of various shapes and sizes. The longest bone in our body is the thigh bone which is known as femur and the smallest bone is stapes which is present inside our ear. A baby is born with 300 soft bones. With the growth of a child, some bones are fused together and adults have 206 bones. The main part of the skeleton are the skull, vertebral column or the backbone, rib cage, limbs and the girdle. Not the skull. The skull is a framework of bones on the head. It is made up of 22 extremely hard and strong bones. When a baby is born, these bones are not joined together. But as it grows, the bones are fused together forming a single skull. Only one bone remains separate from the rest of the skull. The bone is a mandible or the lower jaw. The movable lower jaw helps us to talk and eat. Now what does the skull do? The skull gives shape to the face. It pro provides protection to the brain. It provides socket to the eyes. The teeth present on the upper and lower jaw help in cutting and chewing food are also in the skull. The next part of the skeletal system is the vertebral column or the backbone. The vertebral column has 33 small bones and a hollow ring like bone called the vertebrae. It starts from the base of the skull and runs up to the lower back. It is also known as spine of the back. It protects the spinal cord present inside the hollow of the vertebral column. Spinal cord is a vital part of the nervous system. It provides support to our body and it helps us to stand straight and bend and twist. The rib cage is an arrangement of 12 pair of ribs in our chest region. Ribs are long and curved bones that curve around from the vertebral column towards the front. The ribs are quite flexible bones which allows our chest to move up and down when we breathe. The flat bone in the middle of the chest is called the sternum or the breast bone. Ten pair of ribs are attached to the vertebral column at the back and the sternum in the front. Two pairs of ribs are attached 
only to the vertebral column and are free in the front. Hence, it is called floating rib. The rib protects the delicate heart and lungs. It plays an important role in respiration as it allows the lungs to expand and contract during the process of breathing. Our arms and legs are known as the limb. The arms are called forelimbs while the legs are called the hind limbs. The forelimbs can be divided into three parts, the upper arm, the forearm and the hand. The part of the arm from the shoulder to the elbow is called the upper arm. The forearm is the part of the forelimb between the wrist and the elbow. Our upper arm has one long bone called the humerus, while the forearm has two bones. The wrist and hand contain 27 small bones. The leg consists of upper leg, knees and lower leg, along with that ankle and foot. Our thigh bone called femur is the longest bone in the body. The lower leg has two bones our ankle and feet. They have 26 small bones. The bony structure that joins the limb to the trunk of the body are called girdles. The arms are connected with the help of shoulder girdle or the pectoral girdle. The girdles allows free movement of our arms and legs. The legs are attached with the help of hip girdle or the pelvic girdle. Girdles also provide attachment for a number of muscles and ligaments used in locomotion. Locomotion means the move. So these all are the various bones which make up our skeletal system or the human skeletal system. I hope you have understood all the types of bones and their function. Yes, ma'am, I have understood the skeleton system very nicely. I am glad that you have understood the skeletal system very nicely. And if you all like my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more such interesting videos.